Hello and welcome to the lecture on sessions. So let's understand what is session, how to create them, how to read and delete them. So sessions is nothing but an array. It's very simple to understand it's an array that is stored at the server based on some ID. Okay, remember that every session that is stored has something called a session ID. And it's very important to understand session ID is basically the key to access your sessions. Okay, sessions is nothing but an array. It is stored at the server side and it has a key using which you can access the session. If you understand this line, basically you understand what is session. It has all the components that you need to understand and define a session. Session is an array. Okay, it has some array values you can store as an array and you can store any values that you want. Okay, and it is stored at the server side. Cookies store at the client side, session store at the server side. And every session that is stored has something called a session ID. Okay, and session IDs are generated when the user first time visit the site. So when there's a new request happens, a new session ID has been created and these session IDs are stored at the cookies. So understand the relationship between the cookie and a session. So when a user logs in into the page, the session is being created at the server with a session ID. But how does the browser know? So if you have thousand browsers accessing the server, how does it uniquely identify this is my session? So when a session is created at the server, there is something called a session key and these session key are stored in the browser as a cookie. So whenever a cookie is being sent over to the server, the cookie will tell us, OK, this is my session ID and based on the session ID, the server will pick up a session and give that session array to that particular request. OK, so that's how basically the relation between a client and the server happens with the session and the whole logic happens with the session ID which is stored, which is created at the server side, but the session IDs are references are stored at the client side as a cookie. So every time a user makes a request to the server, this cookie is passed to the server with the session ID and based on the session ID, server is able to maintain an active session of the user. You have to understand this concept very, very well. To understand this concept, you have to understand how cookies work. So when a user login into the system, a session ID is being stored as a cookie on their server. So every request that user is doing to the server, it is telling this is my session ID. And that's it. with that session ID, you get to access all the variables, data or all the actions that has been done by the user stored at the server side as a session. Okay. If a session is already created for that specific user, the PHP will not duplicate the session. Okay, so it's easy to understand if you have a session key already, then it will not be duplicated. Okay, by default, PHP use cookie to store session ID in each browser. Then the browser pass the cookie to the server with each request. How to start the session? This is the first type when you want to start and create a session ID. You have to say session underscore start. This is used to start a session. Automatically, session ID is created, pass over to the user on the client and client store that as a cookie. You don't have to worry about all those things. Right. That is the internal part. What I've explained to you is how it actually works. But what you have to understand is how do I start a session? How this relationship between the client and the server happens is with this single function. You just have to say session underscore start only once. Okay. Wherever you want to put this, you put it somewhere, but it only happens only once. Then how do you create it? Once you say session start, you can have the session variable. That's your global variable and you start putting the values in it. It's an associative array. It's an array. You just store some value in it. Then you can read a session variable, right? You can read a session variable. Then you can delete is basically you say unset, right? You unset that particular variable. Very simple. It's an array. All these things is basically is an array, right? We have looked at associative array and this is how you basically play around with an array. And array is basically nothing but it's an underscore session global variable is an array and you just add value read value you can even update the value like this and then you can unset means you delete the session key all right very simple to understand let's do a simple exercise to understand this concept so let's create a folder we'll create a file session.php open this up The first thing that you have to do is session underscore start. Okay. Then the session will start. Session will start means all the session ID is created. 
the session id will be passed from client to server is stored as a cookie everything is handled over that one method and you have to say that first okay without saying you cannot access session variables how to create a session just like that it's an array so you can say first name and you can say php bootcamp that is creating and how do you access that it's the same way you create you just access it that's how you read the session okay it's very very simple a session is nothing but arrays okay there's nothing behind it it's just an array it's just that it is it understands who is basically accessing this session and who for which user this session has been created okay so now let's open this page okay so it knows that this has been created for php bootcamp okay and what we can do is we can assign it from an get right and we can say name okay we'll pass this name as a url param we'll store in the first name we'll display that as a first name so how to do that we say name is equal to bootcamp okay for this it is php bootcamp for this it is php bootcamp number one okay so for this it is this session and for this it is this session okay so now the user has two sessions and if you try to print over another page you cannot see that session right even though you are accessing the same variable you see i'm trying to access the same variable but it's unable to get that session because for this browser for this particular session the user is different for this this user is different the user is different here all right so that's how basically the session works so for this user this is the php bootcamp data has been stored in that session okay it's the same variable but stored it for a different session okay and for this it has different session okay so it's very simple to understand you have to remember that you have to so do session start once you do station start you basically can start the session and then you have to use as an array you have to assign the value get the value okay for deleting the session you basically can set unset okay this is how you delete the session variable okay so that's all for this lecture on how to work with session i'll see you in the next one